Hi everybody, this is Zuhar from the Internet, and I'm here to show you my latest plugin, uh, Shortcodes UI, which is which is a UI for creating shortcodes. So I'll go ahead and activate it, and once you do that, you can see a new menu added named Shortcodes, and over here is a panel where we add new shortcodes. Um, we're gonna add a few quickly. Uh, basically, this plugin can handle four types of shortcodes, which means that together you can create any kind of shortcode you want uh, I think so anyway <laughs> and the first one is a simple snippet a simple snippet is, a sh is simply a shortcode that's gonna be replaced with the content you enter over here so we're gonna create a new one real quickly name it simple snippet test and Color it a bit, underline it, and give it italic. And all I have to do left is give it a tag. A tag is, is, the, actual, is the actual short code tag. So I'm going to call it SM1, like a simple snippet one. Um, that's it. Go ahead and publish it. And now I can go and create a new post page or whatever kind of custom post I have <clears throat> and you can see this real nice button over here um, which will bring up the shortcodes UI uh, panel this panel over here if you categorize your shortcodes um, it will be much easier for you to select them because once you have uh, too many it's gonna be hard to find the one that you want uh, here it is, simple snippet test, the one I just created. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. And you can see it over here. Let's publish it and see what we've done. Right, view post. And here it is. That's a bad color for demonstration. Anyway, that's a simple snippet. Let's go ahead and create a new short code. Um, let's create something with uh, with attributes. Let's say we have content and attributes. Uh, let's say I want to highlight some of my text, so I'm going to call this highlight text, and I'm going to leave this section empty. Over here, I'm going to name it. Uh, whoops. Whoops. And leave it like that and let's head over to the attributes and add a new one named color and here I'm gonna enter the options uh, huh, default value you can set that or leave it a blank and set that uh, description you don't have to put anything in here but you should because it's gonna get hard remember what each attribute is and I'm just gonna go ahead over here and Copy this snippet I have ready over here. Don't mind this. So basically, it's a simple span with a style that has a background color. And over here was where the magic happened. See, I'm using the token named color, which is the same name of my attribute color. And the content is whatever is gonna, whatever the user is gonna input between the shortcode tags. So let's say this is a short code tag, for example. The content is within it, and then it's the closing short code tag. Um, that's it. That's all I need to do. I'm just going to go ahead and add this to a demo short codes category. So it will be easier for me to find once I have many short codes. Publish it, and let's go ahead back to the post that we created. And <clears throat> let's select it. Demo short codes. And you can see it right here, highlight test. 
um, just like we enter the options green red blue we're gonna leave it at yellow um, there's the description that we gave and the content uh, let's just put not very creative there we go just put an update and let's view the post there it is highlighted text uh, the beauty of it is that this button over here is very intelligent meaning that it's all Ajaxified using Ajax all over the place um, and uh, even nicer feature of this plugin that this button comes in the form of a quick type button also so you can use it in the HTML editor or the visual editor it doesn't matter and I'm just gonna show you one a simple thing I'd say I just selected simple and I'm launching the <laughs> sorry about that got a cold I'm launching the shortcode UI panel and I'm gonna go ahead and select my highlight test and you can see over here the content that I've selected it's shown here I can edit it um, leave it just the way it is um, that's it basically okay let's update and let's view the post one more time here it is so as I said, um, this plugin comes uh, without any shortcodes once you install it. But I had this nice option over here in the import export uh, panel, uh, the import tab. You can click over here on this button, and it will install some demo shortcodes just to get you started and see how they work. And you can see them over here. And as I said, currently there is no documentation, so um, I will probably upload a few more videos demonstrating how to use the more advanced part of this uh, plugin to create any kind of shortcode you can think of. Um, the each shortcode can hold its own shortcode, so which means this plugin supports nested shortcodes. Um, I think up to a third level, but I'm not sure. Try it out. But let me know how it went and um, if you have any questions feel free to ask if you have any suggestions and if you find any bugs uh, once again feel free to let me know and that's it enjoy